we know it can be tricky and often expensive to find a place to park in downtown Nashville. And for one man, a nice dinner cost him an extra 50 bucks. Consumer investigator Jennifer Krause found out this could happen to you. Jennifer. Good morning. That's right. You know, he'd driven around, thought he found the perfect spot, went in for dinner. But when he came back out, he found his car had been booted. It was supposed to be a special night. Actually, it was coming down for a birthday. Steve Jones and his partner were having dinner in Germantown. I parked basically right here. They parked in this alley just around the corner from the restaurant. But when they got back to his car after dinner, things suddenly took a turn. I come around and I see, oh, he's booted and I'm booted and the person in front of me is booted. Jones so says all three cars parked along this curb now had boots on their front tires put there by the company Nashville Booting. When you parked there, did you think there was any reason you shouldn't be parking there? No, not at all. There are no signs on this side of the street that say no parking. The curb is not painted red nor marked in any other way that indicates parking is not allowed here. So I turn to the guy and say, why am I booted? And he said, you can't park here. You can't park on a cutout. The booting company says because the road narrows here, if cars park here, then two cars can't pass safely through here. They say drivers should know that and should know not to park here. Well, you can boot for any reason if it's on private property. In Billy words, Fields is the director of transportation and licensing with NDOT, which regulates the half dozen or so licensed booting companies in Metro, including Nashville Booting. And what are the rules? Uh, they're pretty simple. You know, if you're going to boot in a lot, you got to have a sign put up. Uh, you have to respond uh, within an hour to, to get the boot removed. You can only charge $50 to have for the boot. This is the kind of sign that is supposed to be up warning people they could be booted. It's supposed to be clearly visible when you drive in, but Nashville Booting does not have a sign here. So if they could put a sign here just to say, just to say you could get booted here. Field says he's going to make sure they add one. But when we showed him where Steve Jones had parked when he was booted. What do you see here, though, that tells you not to park here? Nothing. Field says his hands are tied, that the city cannot require Nashville Booting to do anything else here because this is private property. Right. But Steve Jones wonders why the company wouldn't want to add a no parking sign or two here or even just paint the curb red. If you're really that concerned about the safety, just do one small thing that will tell people don't park here. Now, we reached out repeatedly to Nashville Booting, but they did not respond to our request for an interview. We did find that the company has an F grade from the Better Business Bureau for a pattern of complaints from drivers for things like collection and billing issues, customer service, and lots of people say they were booted when they didn't feel they should have. Billy Fields tells me that because there was no warning sign where Steve Jones had parked, then Nashville Booting should not have given him or booted him there, and the company should refund that 50 bucks he had to pay to get the boot taken off.